Hey Miller Tennis Academy, it's Raheel Manji here, uh, ATP professional, uh, former number one for Indiana University and uh, Masters 1000 player. And one of the things I wanted to talk to you today about is exactly what I talked about uh, with the youth in our Mission Elite program. Um, and it's about point, arriving at the point of achievement. Okay, when, how do we arrive at the point of achievement? This is one of the things we discuss, especially with our youth but it's applicable to all, even the pros that we're working with. Um, they still need to get back and be reminded. You know, and so from a long-term standpoint, you can approach it, um, but also you can approach it from a short-term standpoint to achieve your goal. Okay, so there's four main steps to get towards the point of achievement. First is we've got to get inspired. How do we get inspired? This is where you have to get really clear on your goals. Write down your goals. Know exactly who and what you can become if you commit to the goal in front of you. Doesn't matter what it is. And there's more than just results that you get out of each goal. There's the character and the strengthening of it that comes uh, about uh, going after a goal and getting. And, and once you can get really clear on what you will become and what you can achieve, that's when we're, we, we've gotten ex inspired. We're in the get inspired stage. At that point, We've got to take action, and we've got to get invested. So after inspired comes invested. This is where we start to really, really give our efforts, slowly invest our time, our efforts, our commitments. And we've got to be really careful in this stage because every second that you are spending on a tennis court, for example, as a tennis player, or in any sort of training in relation to achieving your goal, has to be at a standard of high quality. Okay, you, one of the things we don't allow in our practices is even a second of being sloppy, a second of being unfocused, a second of being careless. It's a constant, relentless effort to achieve the highest standard of quality in every single second we're out there. So what, one way to, that we get our players invested is to put something behind everything we do. Every, dri every drill we do, every competition we do, there's a reward and there's a consequence. And what happens about that is the focus comes into place. We start to sharpen, get, get, we, we start to invest in the drill in itself and a day to day, inch by inch investment in the drill, in the practice, in the week, in the month, all starts to add up. So basically, whether it's a reward or a consequence uh, behind each drill, behind each uh, competition, everything, um, it creates meaning in our players. And we really try to help them, encourage them to take and invest into it. So rather than force investment, we encourage investment. We tell them, we show them what you can become if you put your efforts and your, and your time and commitment uh, into it. Again, it's a standard of quality and it's a relentless effort. That's the only way to invest properly. Once our players have invested, once they put in the training weeks, once they've put in the time, once they've studied the game, once they've given it everything they've got, it starts to become personal. This is where we arrive at the point of really determining uh, the path of success. You know, it's like for an adult, you know, they, they put money into uh, a stock or whatnot and it grows and it grows and it grows. Um, and because the more they put into it, the more they put into it, the more they've invested and the more personal it becomes, the more they want to see uh, and receive the payback. And it's the same as a tennis player. The more we put in, the harder we work, we want to see the payback and we don't want to leave until we get it. And because we've invested and because it's become personal, um, this is where getting your payback starts to matter. So this is the point of when you guys have gone into a match after uh, months of training, of months of relentless effort, months of sweat, of commitment, of tough times, of conquering challenges, you know that the second you get into the match, there is no way I'm leaving without clawing and scrapping and fighting for every single point. How, so basically, we get in the match and we think about how much time and effort I've put into this. And the second you get in the match, it's like, I will not leave without a, a fight. And that's, uh, that's a good place to go because that's when you're giving it your all and that's where you go back and you get tougher and you get stronger. So when it gets personal, you start competing. Okay, you start competing. 
You want your payback. You don't leave till you get your payback. You're persisting. This is this is it. You just persist. You persist. You persist. You do not leave until you get your payback. And what happens is you arrive at the point of achievement. So kids, first step, okay, get really clear on what you can become yeah, from a character and from a results standpoint if you invest in your goal, whether that's tennis, whether that's academics, whatever that may be, okay? Once you've gotten inspired and you see the picture of what you can become in the long term, start to invest. Give everything you've got to every single day, a relentless effort, a h nothing but high standard. Do not step on the court or train with anything less than the highest effort, and you know what that is. Don't pretend you don't. You know what that is. That's when it gets personal. Take it personal. That's when we start to really grow, okay? Get personal, and don't leave uh, without a fight. Start competing. Persist, 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 persist. Don't leave till it's done. Don't leave till you get your payback, and you will uh, arrive at the point of achievement, okay? Cheers, guys. All the best at Miller Tennis Academy. I'm rooting for you guys. Go after it day in, day out. Relentless effort. Have high standards and go and get it. Okay? Cheers, guys.